Mary Calvi. Now on CBS 2 and streaming on CBS News, New York. Breaking news at this hour as a search continues for the man suspected of murdering a bodega clerk on the Upper East Side late Friday night. Investigators say that same suspect surfaced again in the Bronx a half hour later to rob another deli. Today we're learning that valuable evidence may have been recovered near the second crime scene. CBS 2's Doug Williams is in the Bronx with the very latest. Doug. Mary, the description of the suspect, white hazmat suit and black mask. And police sources say that late last night here in the Bronx, the suspect came in through the uh, apartment complex that you can see behind me and disposed of, they believe via their own surveillance video, disposed of that white hazmat suit in the dumpsters behind me and all of it happening less than a half mile away from where that Bronx robbery took place. Now in the possession of the NYPD, the suit was taken to a forensic lab for processing of prints and DNA. According to sources, police believe the suspect may live here in the Bronx due to his apparent familiarity with the area. But police are investigating whether the suspect may be responsible for more than just the crimes committed last Friday night in Manhattan and here in the Bronx. Two robberies in Brooklyn, one on February 25th and the other on March 1st, were also committed by a man in a hazmat suit, according to police. The crime rampage of the suspect, including the murder of a 67-year-old bodega worker on the Upper East Side, has deli workers across the city fearful for their safety. Even my customers are scared coming in here sometimes. You know, I got our guns in my head. <laughs> I'm used to it. I think we need uh, some security at the doors, especially the store that's open 24 hours. It's a risk time you work behind the counter and don't have the petition. Police sources say they have not yet released to the public the surveillance video that led them to these dumpsters and trash cans behind me where they believe the hazmat suit was disposed of and no arrests still have been made in this case. Mary.